Hey what's up you guys, today I'm doing kind of the spiritual sequel to my last video where I talked about all of, well not all of, some of the books I want to read in 2021 and in this video I'm going to talk about all the classics and modern classics that I want to read in 2021. I have quite a lot here, I'm not going to go through like synopsises or plots or anything, just kind of a general idea and what I'm kind of looking for is if you have read any of these and you really like them please let me know and then I'll obviously prioritise those or if you really hated them then let me know and then maybe I just wouldn't read them at all. Obviously our opinions could be different but I have a lot of books here and I'm obviously not going to get to all of them so any guidance would be great. So if you enjoy this video please leave a like and please subscribe um, so that you can see me read these books and get my reviews on them all etc etc. And let's just get started. I'm going to talk about the translated works out first because I am really interested in these and I actually don't have as many as I would prefer. Like I would actually like more translated works but if you have any recommendations also let me know them. So if I mess up pronunciations on any of these please just leave me alone. I can't even speak English, never mind <laughs> Russian or anything but I will try. Also I should probably mention that most of these are books that are on my physical TBR. Not all of them but a lot of them. So Nana by Emile Zola. I have had this for a few months. I'm really interested in it. It's French and it is about a prostitute which <laughs> we love. Um, I also have another French one called Les Grand Moons. I don't know if that's how you say it. I looked up a guide by Alan Fournier and this is kind of a coming of age French classic um, I'm pretty sure and I think it sounds really interesting as well. It's really short. I really should just read it but it, you know, just slips through the cracks. Another French one is Around the World but in 80 Days by Jules Verne. I have not read any Jules Verne. I know that this and that number of Leagues Under the Sea is his most popular books. Um, so I really want to read it. Then some Russian ones I have is A Hero of Our Time by Mikhail Lermontov. This is super short so I should read it like pretty soon because it's like 180 pages I'm sure. It'll take me no time at all to get through but for alas, I don't know why I don't. And then We by... I'm not even going to try it, I'll put the name here. This is like a dystopian and it's Russian as well and it's a classic. Like a dystopian classic just sounds perfect to me. Obviously I've read 1984 but this was even before that. So I just really like think it sounds cool and I've heard really good things about it. So for some Scottish classics next, these are ones that, a few of them I actually had to check, the authors were actually Scottish, but I have Sunset Song by Lewis Grassic Given. I have put this on like a few TBRs in 2020 and never actually got to it. So hopefully next year I will. Kid Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. I really like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so hopefully I will like his other stuff as well. This next one is kind of a modern classic and that is The Prime of Miss Brodie Jean and for some reason I have not wrote down the author, I will put their name here. Um, this isn't really considered like, I don't know, it's kind of a modern classic but I don't think it's really seen as that outside of Scotland but in Scottish literature I've read it as considered that so I'm putting it on this list. And then these decks too, I did not even know the authors were Scottish. So Peter Pan by GM Barry, obviously this is very famous, everyone knows Peter Pan is with a little boy who goes to Neverland, a very famous Disney movie. I had no idea that the author of this was Scottish, um, but he is. And then Arthur Conan Doyle, who wrote the Sherlock Holmes books. I have A Study in Scarlet written down because that's like the most famous one, it's the original I'm pretty sure. I had no idea again that he was Scottish, I just assumed that him and GM Barry were both English because their books are like set in London, but you know. Next, this author is not on any of my physical TBR, but I definitely think he will be. And if you've seen any of my recent videos, you will know how much I love James Baldwin right now. So his other four books I have not read. He also has like other things like some non-fiction and some like speeches and stuff. But I'm focusing on his novels for now. So I have Go Tell It on the Mountain, Tell Me How Long the Train's Been Gone, If Beale Street Could Talk and Just Above My Head. I don't know what any of these are about, but I completely trust James Baldwin. I am here for anything that he's going to write. I will read it at this point. Like, I am just obsessed with this man and his writing, so I am super excited to get to him. This next author, though, is on my physical TBR. I own quite a lot of Charles Dickens books. I got most of these for Christmas 2019 and then just never read any this year. Apart from, I read that Ghost Stories one, which I didn't even like, but... You know, so his other novels that I own physically, I have Little Dorrit, Martin Chuzzlewit, The Old Curiosity Shop, Bleak House and A Tale of Two Cities. So if you have read any of these, please let me know which ones are your favourite, which ones I should prioritise, because I don't know if I'll get to all five of them throughout the year. Preferably I would, but a lot of them are very thick. I think most of them are thick to be honest. Like I'm visualising my shelves right now 
and I can see the books on it, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they're thick. So whatever ones you think I should prioritize, please let, let me know. I loved Great Expectations. That is the only like proper novel by him I've read other than ghost stories, which are like short stories. So let me know which to prioritize. So next authors, um, this one also is on my physical TBR. I have George Eliot, I have Adam Bede and The Mill on the Floss. I know her most famous book is, oh my god, the name is right. I can see it, but I can't get it out. <laughs> Neither of these is her most famous book, but these are the two that I own. So let me know if you've read them and what you thought. They were both really cheap copies I bought up, I picked up, so like, if you don't think I should read them and I do end up on hauling them, I'm not that sad about it. But I feel like she is just like a very famous like Victorian author and now that I've finished the Brontes, I should move on to some other Victorians. Next I have Ian Forster and I have Maurice, or Morris, probably Maurice, isn't it? And Howard's End. I currently own Howard's End and I'm getting Maurice for Christmas. So I'm really actually excited for Maurice. It's about, um, it was published after he died and it's like about being gay, I'm pretty sure. I think it sounds quite interesting. I like classics about that and I actually have, I don't know if you'd call it a secret TBR. I don't know what people are even referring to when they say like secret TBRs, but I'm reading like, or trying to read like a lot of like LGBT classics so that I can then do so, like a series of videos on them like by time period. And this is for that, but I also just think it sounds really cool. And then Howard's End, I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> I just picked it up in a charity shop because I noticed it and I saw the author's name and I was like, I want to read Maurice. So I got it and then I never read it. But if you've read these, let me know. I'm actually really excited for Maurice and then I don't know anything about Howard's End. This next author isn't one that... I think our books are now considered modern classics. It was kind of like what I was saying with the Prime of Brody Jean where it's like, it depends on what some people classify as modern classics and what they don't. But I have Toni Morrison, I have Song of Solomon and The Bluest Eye. Both of these sound really cool. Um, both of them sound really interesting. She's a black author, she's African American. And I obviously want to read some more African American like classics or like, I was saying like translated classics as well. I would love to know some from like Asia or Africa. I don't really know any right now. But if you have recommendations, obviously I would love to know that. But I just want to like broaden my horizon more. Um, and both her books sound really interesting. Next, another author that I actually do own is Elizabeth Gaskell and I own The Life of Charlotte Bronte and North and South. I have not really heard anyone talk about The Life of Charlotte Bronte on Booktube but I just bought it because obviously I've been a big fan of the Bronte sisters and it was kind of part of the collection of books that I'm building up about them. And North and South is a very famous like Victorian classic. I've actually heard it's kind of similar to Shirley in some ways which I didn't like but hopefully it's more entertaining than Shirley. So if you've read North and South, let me know. I know that it's very popular. Um, it's a very famous like Victorian classic. Another author who I have read nothing of, but I really want to, is Thomas Hardy. And the two books of his I own are The Mayor of Casterbridge and The Return of the Native. I know again, neither of these is his most famous book, I don't think, but they're the two that I own. So if you have read them, please let me know your thoughts and which one I should read first so I can kind of get a taste of his work. And if, you, if your answer to that is neither of these two, then let me know which of his that I would probably be better off starting with because that obviously I could pretty much go to the library and I'm sure they'll have a lot of Thomas Hardy books. I've just never really looked into his stuff before, but I do definitely want to. Finally, just some other random books, which I'm pretty sure all of these were also on my classics I want to read in 2020 list, but here we are. So first I have Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is so short, there's no excuse for me not to have read it at this point. Um, it's been on my TBR since like January 2019 when I joined Booktube, but I eventually, hopefully this year, want to read Animal Farm. I have Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier again. This has been on my TBR forever. I actually did read a Daphne de Maurier this year because I read The Infernal World of Bramwell Bronte, but obviously that was non-fiction, so it's like completely different and I really want to read Rebecca because it's so famous, it's so popular, uh, there was just a new movie about it like a few months ago on Netflix which I heard got mixed reviews but I just really need to read Rebecca. I really want to and I don't know why I don't. Then I have just something by Agatha Christie. She's one of those authors that everyone knows. She's so famous and for some reason I've just never read anything by her. So hopefully next year I will. If you have a specific Agatha Christie book that you think I would like, let me know down below. Um, literally open to any suggestions for her. I don't have any in mind really. 
And then finally, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I find Sylvia Plath as a person and like her life so interesting. I read a couple of her poems. Um, I read Daddy, for example, which is her most famous one, I think. And I really, I did like it, but poetry isn't really my thing. So I definitely want to read The Bell Jar because I just want to have like something by Sylvia Plath like on my red shelf because she's such like an iconic uh, author. I know I said actress there. Just an iconic author that I really, hopefully we'll get to in 2021. So those were all of the classics that are on my 2021 TBR. Like I've said, I'm very open to suggestions. I'm really looking for recommendations, to be honest. Um, for example, Thomas Hardy, please let me know where to start with him. Agatha Christie, I'm open to like, any suggestions. Who else am I open to? Um, George Eliot, Charles Dickens, let me know which to prioritise with him because I have no idea. Um, and then James Baldwin, I am super excited to get into. So if you are wanting to hear any of my reviews about any of these books, hopefully I will get to most of them next year. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And like I've said many times during this video, please love me, like leave me recommendations, etc in the comments because I definitely need help with this. More than like my other like TBR, the classics one, I definitely need like some help and some guidance. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.